just a good install. What's going on YouTube? Thank you guys for watching today's video. In today's episode, what we're gonna be doing is installing these FTR stainless steel braided brake lines on my 2017 Mustang GT. Now these steel brake lines are gonna be a direct replacement for the rubber brake lines that are already equipped in your S550. And the reason that you would want to upgrade to these steel lines is pretty much because of the fact that the rubber brake lines, as you apply pressure to the pedal, the rubber actually expands. That's what you're feeling when the pedal is squishing. Now when you have steel brake lines, there's absolutely no give. These are not designed to have any flex or anything at all. So when you press the pedal, it's much firmer, which is a huge advantage. I know a lot of you guys that are subscribed are track drivers. So that being said, you definitely want to pick up a set of these. If you do choose to pick up these FTR rods, you will be saving about 15 bucks. You can use the coupon code HEGON15, and when you use that code, then you will be dropping the price from $115 down to exactly 100. So we're saving your life for 100 bucks today, boys. I got your favorite side install buddy, Johnny Z with me today, the Apex King. And we're gonna see how fast we can knock this out. And I'm just gonna give you a step-by-step -step how to do this. So, we're gonna get started. Step one, loosen all your lug nuts. Okay. Next, you're just gonna jack up the car. Next, we're gonna take off the wheels. Here's exactly what I was talking about earlier. So, right here, you have this rubber brake line. This is great, it's thick rubber, it works. However, like what I was saying, when you press the brakes, this does have a little bit of play in it and it tends to flex, which then makes your braking speed much slower than if you have a steel brake line. And the reason why the whole thing isn't already made that way, like this up here, this hard line, because your suspension moves, when this is going up and down, if you were to have a hard line, you know, the line would just snap. As we move in here, the next step is going to be loosening our hard line bolt. Once it's loose, you're going to get out this 10 mil. Make sure you have a bucket down as well to catch all of your brake fluid as it's dripping. Do you want a break for? Uh, no. <laughs> All right. Did you get that? Oh yes. And just for your guys' reference, both of those bolts are both 13s. There is one 10 that is attached to that bracket up top next to the hard line. So to get that bracket disassembled, that is a 10 mil, but the two that actually connect the line to the hard line and to the caliper are gonna be 13 mils. We're starting to drip a bunch of brake fluid. So we're gonna try and do this as quick as possible. I'm gonna set the camera up right here and we're gonna work on it, get it done. I apologize for the angles. <laughs> so what we're gonna be doing, you're gonna take your brake line. There is a piece that has, it looks like it can be threaded into something. This is gonna be the top, okay? The other, the rear brake lines look like this. So this is how you know the difference. These are the fronts, these are the rears. You're gonna take this part and you're gonna screw it in up top. We're gonna start with this bottom half, the round one. You're gonna take your banjo bolt and make sure you have two washers, all right, right here. Make sure that the washer comes off the back and you'll see on here, there should be one side that's round and one side that's flat. The bottom side is the flat, the top is the round. You want the flat side to be touching the actual unit. You can get it attached right here before you actually put it on the car. And you, ah, shit. So don't drop your washers, boys. You need those. You'll get it where it needs to be. And just kind of thread it in by hand. It's just enough to hold it into place right now. But we need to put in this bracket. So we're gonna pull this down, get that into place. And now, do the same process. This bracket is just gonna be where that 10 mil is gonna go in right here. Just a good install. I feel like this is just 
can like flop around. Ah, maybe that's what these are for. This piece that's also included is gonna lock this into place. That way it's not going like this. All right, you guys, so next you're simply just gonna tighten down the line. Um, I believe, what was it, 19 at the bottom and we're using on top? Bottom and a 13 up top. Yeah, so pretty simple. All right, you guys, so I just wanted to bring to light one thing. So this is an S197. This is an S550. Which one would the girl choose to sit in? I think it's clear. The one that's not on the jack. Yes, the one that's not broken down, clearly. Get yourself an S197, gentlemen. Also, I'm not sure if this is gonna make it in the video, but we will try our best. Alrighty, now we have the first side completely done. We're gonna do the other side on the front, and then I'm gonna jump to the rear and I'll show you again. But pretty much everything is the exact same. And I'll give you a brief overview just in case everything was a little choppy throughout that. Step one was loosening that bolt up top. Step two was getting this bolt off right here. Once you have both off, you're totally disassembling this rear component. You're gonna loosen that first original bracket, take off the whole rear component, and once the entire brake line is out of the car, then you're pretty much repeating the process. You install it from up top, get it hand tight, and maybe a little turn just to give it enough to make sure nothing is gonna leak out. Then you're gonna tighten down your new bolt, which is a 14 compared to the stock that is a 13 mil. So note that, and once you see it, just make sure there's no more brake fluid leaking. That's all from the beginning, but it's completely dry now. We did the first side correctly. Now the tube nuts that they use on the rear of the car compared to the front are a little bit different. Ford actually over torques them from the factory, so that ruins the threads on the tube nut itself, also on the brake line. So when you go to thread in the brand new brake line, the threads are actually too good of a quality that it can't actually grab. The stock brake line and that tube nut are fucked together, so they work together if that makes sense. We tried working on it for probably two days. Today is Wednesday, the video is actually going live in about 30 minutes from now. So I just wanted to give you a quick update. The fronts work absolutely flawless. I've already driven it that way. Today I actually tried to complete it, but didn't work out. Obviously, I'm still going to keep these brake lines because I am going to try and make them work one day, but today is not the day. If you guys have any info on how I might be able to do this, anything, any advice, tips, whatever, please leave a comment down below because I do want to make it work. I'm just not sure how yet. So please let me know, guys. Any info helps. And if you enjoyed today's video, please leave a fat thumbs up. It really helps out. We are so, so close to 1500. We didn't make it by the end of the month, but today is the first and I have a strong feeling we're gonna make it today. We will see you guys next time. Peace out, y'all. Be sure to work more and talk less. See ya.